For three years now, there's been a big trend of games on Roblox. Tower Defense Games Tower Defense Simulator Anime Defenders Tower Defense X These games have one premise Place towers that shoot enemies So in this video, I'm gonna be making a tower defense game One thing these games have in common is that they have a defined path for enemies to follow So I started by making a basic map with a path Now that I had a map, I started on the enemies I needed a model for the enemy, so I inserted an R15 rig of my character in an animate script my next task was to make the enemy follow the path. I set up waypoints along the path for the enemy to reach. Then I wrote a script that moves the enemy by using a variable linked to these waypoints. The variable starts at 1 and it increments until the enemy reaches the end waypoint. The script was just a test to see how I would get the enemy to walk along the path, so I deleted the script and created classes for the enemies in the waypoints. After I created the enemy class, I started working on a health bar so that when the enemies reached the end of the level, it would deal damage. First I designed the health bar GUI, then I created a class system for the menus so that I had more control over all the menus from other scripts. I also made a simple game over screen that shows once your health reaches zero. I'm going to change it in the future, I just needed a game over screen for now. In order to make the health function, I created a module called Game State. It tracks the health, max health, whether the game is over, and how much cash each player has. Anytime these values change, it'll update all the menus. Now that the menus in the game kind of functioned, I made a system that would load and unload maps because I wanted to be able to have players vote on which map they wanted. So first I deleted the original map, and then I created a Wild West themed map. Due to the newest map being a Wild West, theme, I changed the enemy to a cowboy instead of my character, but I noticed a problem. Players could collide with the enemies, so I set up collision groups so that the players couldn't collide with enemies or other players. Every tower defense game has waves, so this was my next task. I started by making a system where I would create a module for each map containing three difficulties, and under each difficulty it would have a specific function for each wave. This system was terrible, and I immediately deleted it. I came up with a new system that stores a message for the round if I want one to display, and it also stores the groups of enemies containing which enemy, how many, how fast they should spawn, and how much time to wait until spawning the next group. Next task was the towers. This was the hardest one. I started by making a class on the server for the towers, and then I started making a target system that will attack any enemy that is within range until it dies or leaves the range. Then it'll find the next enemy it can attack. There were no attack animations, so I decided that would be the next thing to add. I started by animating an idle animation and then an attack animation. Then it was time to script the animations, and it all went downhill from here. In the beginning, I had the animations playing on the server, which you're not supposed to do. So I had to make it so that every time a tower is created, it'll create another tower class on the client that will control animating the client. So after I added that, I made it play the idle animation and the attack animation whenever an enemy is within range. Finally, to finish the attack animation, I gave the tower a pistol, made the tower face the enemy when firing, and added a bullet sound and a visual effect. Quick side note, if you're interested in becoming an advanced Roblox developer, check out my coaching program in the description. All in all, after a week's worth of work, this is everything I have so far. I don't have a placement system yet, so you just click to place a tower for now. In the next video, I'll have a better system for the towers and the enemies, because right now I don't like the idea of having two classes that essentially do the same thing. I'll finish the placement system for the towers, which will include me finishing the cache feature. I'm going to add a twist to the tower defense genre so that my game will be unique from the other ones. I already have a cool idea in mind, so watch out for the next video. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Later.